All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Red Dead 2. How you doing? So, uh, I saw on the map that that naturalist guy who the fox stole the meat from was out here just, uh, I guess, fucking around and taking pictures like he was before. So we're gonna go see him before we go see Mary, but we have no choice but to go see Mary this episode, so I promise you... We're gonna see Mary. As long as, you know, I don't get repeatedly mauled by a bear or something. <laughs> See how yours compares? I'll race you to the Outlaw Ridge, all right? I don't know where that is. If I knew where that... Uh, it's, it's literally the opposite direction of where I'm going. Sorry, buddy. Uh, I reckon I'll pass. I knew it. A coward can't bear to face the better... Oh, shut up before I shoot you, you fool. Off we go. You know, I get so tempted to just shoot random insulting NPCs, but like, I'm a good person, or at least I try to be. <laughs> Oh god, oh god, don't... There we go. I always cringe out of my skin the moment my horse just like flips over and does like eight backflips. Cause it, it just looks like it hurts. <laughs> Somewhere. There he is. It's eight in the morning. There you go. How you doing, man? Oh, shit, what was his name? I forget. Or is it an easterly? We're fine. Hello again. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you, sir? Uh, Morgan, Mr. Morgan. I'm sorry, my my nerves. I'm not quite the outdoor adventurer I thought. This is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. I know the feeling. No, I hope not. What you trying to take some pictures of, huh? Some more greedy coyotes? No. Wolves. Wolves? Well, you really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. I thought I'd be safe. Given the wind. Yeah, sure. You managed to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. Well, I... I... I'll stay with you a while. If anything comes, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. Now, you don't know me very well. well. To me, you're a gentleman. Usually, I'm worse than the wolves. <laughs> you had many dealings with wolves, Mr. Morgan? A few. Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not through lack of trying on their part. A while back, I helped a friend from getting devoured. Usually, they are not great fans of man. <laughs> Don't blame That's me. an understatement. Me neither. Hey, shh, here's one. Looks like we got company. Two. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Just in case. Come on. Come on. Oh, please don't call more. Good boys. 
Hungry boys. Come on. Stay back, stay back. Can't have a man in the frame. They think it's staged. I'm here to the sure side of Look at them. Magnificent creatures. Especially when oh, you on at your eyeballs. Come on. Stay still, my beauties. Oh, fuck. Just wolves. Hey, is that all of them? We might have kept the wolves from the door. My whole futile existence flashed before my eyes. <laughs> yeah, they can be pretty aggressive. What a waiter. Literally a dog's dinner. Yeah. Still worse things happen at sea. Do they? <laughs> well, I imagine. Perhaps wolves do better at sea. Are they good swimmers? Well. Who knows? You have saved my poor foolish skin once again. Don't mention it. Well, I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude. But no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. You take care now. And you too, sir. I don't know why you're walking away. We're getting that skin. I was just checking this equipment. If only my hands weren't shaking quite so much. Remind me never to say that out loud again. It sounds like I'm skinning people. <laughs> It's okay, I'm not waiting on you, uh, shit, what was his name again? Albright, or some such? You're a collector of pelts. Hmm. I hope only in cases of self-defense. Sure, definitely. Two, two looks like. Just hold on there, boy. Oh no, was this the last one? Oh, this was the last one, okay. So, we are going to go right past the butcher, so we might as well, there we go, might as well pick one up. Okay, so I did miss one, but it's fine. Don't need all the money in the game. Oh god. Oh lord. Oh dear. Oh Jesus. Whoa. Whoa. Easy. Now, come on. Ah, oh, mierda. Mierda. Right, I think we're good. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me, oh my god. Wait a minute. Strawberry's around here. Strawberry has a where's strawberry at? Oh Valentine. Strawberry's down that way, so it's way too far out of the way. Never mind. Sure. How about we skip the small talk, eh? Okay. Nice try. 
Let's see what you got on you. A dollar. Okay. On, boy. Broke piece of shit. Yep. <clears throat> I expect at least two from the people I murder from trying to steal from me. Oh god. Oh no! I've entered a legendary town. There he is. Okay, but there's too much activity to track the animal. Okay. I didn't know that was a thing. I thought you could just track it. into the mountains and don't want to go back up there. Not at all. Make a good. Whoa! Wait, what? Who the hell said that? Get away from me! All of you! Run! Run from me! Y you all right there, buddy? Can I, can I help you? I just don't want him to see me. Him who? We're not friends anymore. We're not. They won't forgive you. All right, whatever. Uh -uh. They, they, they didn't forgive me. There is no forgiveness. Yeah. River psychopaths. Okay. How did I not accidentally run into him? Did he spawn behind me? Sell some stuff. Uh, did I sell the carcass? Mm. Ain't no money. All right, there we go. All right, boy. Um, <laughs> time is it? noon. Let's hop around here for a quick bath. Cause it'll clean our clothes Partner? too, I think. Partner? Welcome back. I need a bath. That's okay. Can you organize? I got someone warming it up for you already. Thank you, sir. It'd be real shitty if it didn't clean my clothes at the same time. I've never actually kept track of that. Would you like any assistance? Uh, nah. Nah, I'm good. Thank you. All right, suit yourself. Uh, we should be good. I hope. Yep. Alright, let's go meet Mary. It's rough country out there. Let me know if you need a place to rent. Now, now. Okay. Boy, let's go. There. 
There she is. Uh, can I just go this way? Oh my god, yeah, of it, boy. Yep, this is it. Go have a chat. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is um uh, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Lemon, a collar for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary. Um. I heard you and your friends was around. I. Okay. Where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, well, you, you've been, <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, ah, okay. I, uh, my family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie, at least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart? Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is he? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Oh, Arthur. Boy. I know what it's like to have somebody who, uh... Did you dirty and he can't really say no to him? It, it just sort of sucks. Because you always feel like you're being taken advantage of. Come on, boy, pick up the pace. Short, peaceful ride ahead. Or, I hope peaceful. 
I really don't need any more bears roaring at me. Although I don't think bears are common in this area of the map. Twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Sure, we yeah, had. Sure. Up on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? Yeah, I might sure. be headed past there. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. <laughs> that fool, always complaining. But does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away. Aside from to lift a drink, of course. Oh. Marriage for me has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit, he was a fine animal. Loyal, smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Sounds like a good horse. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, waited any longer oh. from my... Hey, we can't walk your horse back. Come on! Yeah. So, where was I? Oh, yes. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. The lights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Found an old saloon there, all shut down now. But I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains. Something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable feeling to the place. I Either see. way, it's time I left. Especially now I lost that poor horse. I'll collect my belongings and be on my way. Oh, we're getting close now. Yep, where were we, where were we dropping at? Oh, just right here in the middle of the road? Okay. go this is great this was kind of you mister please take this as my way of thanking you well thank you jesus my horse is dirty <laughs> appreciate it <sighs> what a lousy day yeah good boy i'll try to ride you yep. through a river or something Back on track. Can't really tell based on the mini map. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Good boy. While we're doing it, you're all right, boy. All right, boy. Oh, I see a body of water. Nice and clean. There we go. Sort of.
it takes a lot of water to get a horse really clean, but we'll brush them when we get a chance. Lovely cold. Shell of safety. Shell of safety. Gonna speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean. His sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? <sighs> I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? I don't know. Safety? Safety and meaning? <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Ah, oh, shit. Alright, come on, Jamie. I Nowhere. They're just using you. Telling you what you want to hear. What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Yeah. Jesus. Man, if we gotta do this the hard way. I don't have to answer to you. How the fuck are you so fast, man? Yeah. Just stop and let's talk about this. This is none of your damn. I promised I'd help, so it's my business enough. Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. For Christ's sakes, Jamie, just hold up a minute. I was doing just fine by myself. Come on, boy. People? They're my friends! Are they yeah. really? If you don't leave me alone, I'll see Do you, you even I know them? It. What are you talking about? You ain't no killer. You don't know who I am. Oh great. Alright, come on. Shit cows. Please, 
Arthur. I'm a man now. I, I found something. A calling. You're just a kid. You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Let's get you back home and well, maybe this some wasn't how I thought today would usable turn out. therapy. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. You didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Stonia, <laughs> though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. <laughs> My father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father. Nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay, I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. <laughs> Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Now, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Here we are. Jose. Waiting inside. You were thinking of Jose. And yes, most certainly. Yeah. Quick, or I might run off again. Hello there. Well, don't run off. We're right here. Is he, is he following me? Yeah. Walking all slow and whatnot. You're nervous about seeing her, aren't you? Shut up, boy. been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. 
Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. All right. Oh, we're back here in Valentine at 6 p.m. <coughs> uh, nope. Alright, so where are we headed down at camp? Is that John? That's John. He wants to talk. Okay. And before we do that, we're going to do some hunting for the gang. Hey, boy. Actually, oh my god. Actually, first I want to check in the gun shop. Who's this then? Howdy. I can see you're a fellow who ain't to be messed with. So, what are you aiming for today? Oh, uh, let's browse catalog, see okay, if we got now anything let me unlocked. See. Rifles. Do we want to take the Springfield rifle? All right, nothing new. All right, let's go hunting. Go if home. for all the bounties running around New Hanover, I'd be out of business. Oh God, yeah. Let's uh, <laughs> let's clean you up. Hey, Mister. There's a job in five miles of here. I don't know about it. All right, come on. There you go. That's much better. Yeah, oh my god. Better, boy. Come on now, boy. Alright, back to camp. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Good evening, sir. <laughs> Let's see if we can find something good for Pearson. Yeah. And so far, actually at this time of day, I'd imagine most of the animals are Either looking for some place to sleep or just not around. And 
I'd like a deer or two, but I kind of don't. Want... Nope, that's a person. That's a man. Yeah. Who's there? <laughs> Who said that? Sounded like Charles, but I don't know where he's at. So we're just gonna ride past him. <laughs> Turkey. Drop it. Oh, that's right. I got to give those debts back to uh, back to the camp box too. Let's grab some food first. Uh oh, I can't pass between the horses. Have a nice evening. Evening, Arthur. The bottle in your hand. There's a surprise. I'm entitled to a drink. Well, save some for the rest of us. All right. Okay. Who's that, Sadie? This is Ed. Good evening, Arthur. How you doing? How are you holding up? It's like a nightmare I can't wake up from. I'm sorry. It will get better, Mrs. Adler. Sure. Hey, folks. Evening. Working hard there. Somebody's got to do it. Oh, God, right, they're torturing Kieran over there. Okay. Good evening. Howdy. That looks fun. I guess. Well, don't let me interrupt you. Let me know if you find candy. Good evening. Good evening, Arthur. Hey, Dutch. Molly. Good evening. Still going with the gramophone? Jesus, man. <laughs> Give it a rest. Hello. Aren't you cold dressed in there? Any problems? Not any new ones. Well, that's something. Okay, Arthur. All right. Well, we're going to go uh, talk to John when we return in a moment. So I thank so much for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, if you liked what you saw and you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will be back in a moment.